राहुल अग्रवाल असोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन बी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस डिलीवरिंग ए वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन स्पेशल फंक्शंस ऑन बी ऑफ गुरु की पी टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सम स्पेसिफिक फंक्शंस दिज फंक्शंस आर कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन आइडेंटिटी फंक्शन मॉड्यूलस फंक्शन सिग्नम फंक्शन स्क्वायर फंक्शन रेसिप्रोकल और इनवर्स फंक्शन स्टेप फंक्शन एक्सपोनशियल फंक्शन एंड लॉगरिथमिक फंक्शंस वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दीज फंक्शंस वन बाय वन इन ऑल फंक्शन वी हैव टू स्पेसिफाई व्हाट इज द फंक्शन सेकंड वन वी हैव टू क्रिएट ग्राफ ऑफ द फंक्शन थर्ड वन वी हैव टू टेल अबाउट डोमेन एंड फोर्थ वन इज वी हैव टू टेल अबाउट रेंज ओके सो एट फर्स्ट वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन सो फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज वॉट इज कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन मीन्स ए फंक्शन वूज वैल्यू बी ऑलवेज सेम ए फंक्शन इफ यू प्लेस एनी थिंग वी ऑलवेज गेट ए कॉन्स्टेंट वैल्यू देन डिट फंक्शन इज नॉन एज कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन सो ए कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन कैन बी डिफाइंड एच एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू के इफ यू पुट एनी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वी गेट के वेयर k is a constant k is a constant which may be anything positive or negative zero or in decimal point so k belongs to r getting this point so it is our constant function if we want to draw graph of this function then we can design this graph as in graph we draw two axes x and f x here we put x values and here we place f x values x is our domain f x is our range in this side x be positive in this side x be negative here x is zero same for f x in upper side f x be positive in lower side f x be negative in constant function always if we place anything we get k that means fx be always k let this is our k this is our k so if i place 0 then get k if i place 1 then also k 2 then also minus 1 then k minus 2 then k so the graph can be designed as this form it you're getting this point so it is the graph of our constant function where fx is equal to now third one i have to tell i have to discuss about dominant range so what will be the domain of this function what is range of this function domain means possible value of x for which values function is defined here x may be anything x may be zero x may be positive x may be negative And x may be in decimal points. So x be domain b r or r. R is real number. Second one, range. Range means possible value of f x. Here, if we plus anything, we always get k. So range be k. Here k is a real number. Getting this point? Very simple constant. so this is about constant function second one is identity function now we will discuss what is identity function we are discussing about identity function what is identity function identity function means if i plus 1 then get 1 if i plus 2 then get 2 that means if i plus x then again we get x that function is known as identity function so identity function can be defined as fx is equal to x you plus anything you get same thing that is known as identity function if i plus 1 then 1 4 then 4 minus 4 then minus 4 so it is known as identity function okay now i want to design graph of this function so what will the graph we can design graph in the following fashion 
two dimensions. First one is x, second one is f x. Here we play, place x values, here we place f x value. Function is f x is equal to x. So, we can obtain graph easily. If x is 0, f x 0, x 1, f x 1, on 2, f x 2, minus 1, then minus 1, minus 2, then minus 2. So, graph B is straight line passing through origin. It will be the graph of our identity function. At every point of this graph, x is equal to f x. 8, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, minus 1, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2. So, this is known as identity function. Now, I have to tell about domain of this function. Second one is range of this function. What will the domain? Domain means possible value of x. Here x can be anything. You can easily show x can be 0, x be positive, x be negative. So, it is defined on all values of x. That means x is real number. Okay. Second one is range. Similarly, range be 0, range is positive, range is negative. So, range is real number. Very simple. Second one is identity function. Third function is our modulus function. So, we will discuss about modulus function. What is modulus function? Modulus function is little similar to identity function. We can represent modulus function as f x is equal to mod of x. This function always written positive value. If I place plus 4, then get 4. If I place minus 4, then also plus 4. It always convert value in positive value. So, it can be defined further as f x x and minus x. If x is more than equal to 0, then 0. If x is less than 0, then minus x. What is the mean of this? If x is more than or equal to 0, then we get x. Like x is 4, 4 is more than 0, then we get if x is less than 0, let x is minus 4, then we get plus 4. How? Minus minus x. x is minus 4, minus minus plus 4. So, we get always positive value. Getting this point? Like f4. Here x is more than 0, here x is more than 0, then you get 4. Minus 4, x is less than 0, then minus of x, then also we get plus 4. This is known as modulus function. We can design graph of this modulus function is <coughs> now we are designing graph of this modulus function. Same here x and here f x. Now, discuss about these things. When x is 0, when x is 0, we get 0. 8, 1, 1, minus plus 2, plus 2, plus 4, plus 4, plus 5, plus 5. That is same as identity function. No problem in this side. But when x is negative, then we get positive value, minus 1, then 1, minus 2, then 2, minus 3, then minus 3, plus 3. So, this portion B is shown as this. So, graph of modulus function is this and graph of identity function is this. Getting this? Here, at minus, we get also positive value. So, it is known as modulus function. Now, I have to tell about domain and range. What is domain of this function? What will be the range of this function? What is domain? Possible value of x. Here x may be positive, x may be negative, x can be 0. So, domain be 
real number? What is range? Range means a possible value of f x, f x can be 0, f x can be positive, but f x can't be negative. Here f x can't be negative. So, range be non-negative real number. Getting this point? So, this is identity function, third one is our modulus function. Now, we will discuss about our fourth function which is signum function. Now, we will discuss what is signum function. What is signum function? Signum function is a specific function which also depends on modulus. Signum function can be defined in the following fashion f x is equal to mod x upon x when x is not equal to 0. But if x is equal to 0, then we get 0. So, if x is equal to 0, then 0, x is not equal to 0, then modulus x upon x. It is known as signum function. We can further define this. If x is not equal to 0, then x be either positive or x be either negative. So, this function can be defined as when x is 0, then we get no problem x0 then fx is also but when x is not equal to 0 then we have two cases either x is more than 0 or x is less than 0 when x is more than 0 then what happened modulus x upon x modulus always give a positive value and it is also positive same upon same so we get like f of 4. What we get? Mod 4 upon 4. 4 by 4 is equal to 1. So, here we get 1. But, when is x is less than 0? x less than 0. Then what happened? Suppose, x is minus 4. Mod of minus 4 is plus 4 upon minus 4. We get minus so, here minus. Getting this point? So, modulus function when x is 0, then 0. When x is more than 0, then 1. When x is less than 0, then minus 1. Now, we have to design graph of this function. Graph fashion be the same. x and fx, but range is different. So, graph can be plotted as. So, the graph can be represented. x f x when x is 0 then f x is also 0 when x is more than 0 when x is more than 0 then it is always 1 more than 0 then it is always 1 so graph can be shown when x is less than 0 x is less than 0 then always get minus 1 f x b So, it is the graph of modulus signum function. Getting this point, when x is 0, f x 0, x is positive, f x is 1, x is negative, f x is minus 1. Now, we have to tell about domain, second one is range. Domain means possible value of x. What is x? x can be positive, x can be negative, x can be 0. So, no problem. Domain is real number. Second one is range. Range means possible value of x. Clearly, here we get only three values, either 0 or 1 or minus 1. So, range be minus 1, 0 and 1. It is known as signum function. So, 
in this lecture we discuss about four lecture four four functions first one is first one is constant function second one is identity function third one is modulus function fourth one is signum function remaining functions we will discuss in our next video lecture thanks for watching this video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and visit our website gurukp.com thank you thank you and thank you